The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be reviewing this. This is Transformers Generation Selects 08 Seacon Overkill. So here he is in package. The outer box sleeve. Pretty plain. Let's take it out. last Seacon in this set. Here you can see with the outer sleeve some nice line art here. Seacon's Tentakill. And on the back, let's take out the sleeve. Finally, the set is complete with this last figure. Your standard generation selects brown box packaging. Hey, okay, let's see what we have here. Very cool. Okay, let's get him out of his uh, little plastic tie prison here. Here's Generation Select's tentacle out of package. He comes with his instruction sheet on nice glossy paper. He comes with his hand, so another hand for Piranacon. Lots of hands. Comes with this sword or melee weapon, some kind of blade weapon. Comes with two guns. And Tentacle himself. Now, I gotta say, um, out of all the Seacons, he is probably the most interesting looking in terms of his beast mode um it's this giant face fish face kind of looks like a little tiki man of some sort here he is on the side now the front looks really cool not liking that the decepticon symbol is upside down the back is actually not too bad it's actually pretty solid uh being that this is, you know, the robot here, it actually looks pretty cool. It's it's not, there's not a lot of gaps. But all in all, I, I don't know exactly how I feel about this beast mode. It's, it's kind of interesting. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, it's one of those modes that I, 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 it's not my favorite, but I just, I like it for some reason. I know, it sounds weird. Yeah, the little beast legs here. Uh, taking a closer look at it in detail, it's nice that there's a lot of nice paint apps here for that face. Would have been nice if they they did some paint apps for this uh, leg here, though, like maybe over here or here. Little claws, or even some paint apps here. I mean, all in all, though, it's really nice. I, I think there's enough paint apps, but. Sometimes you just want a little bit more. Here's the back. I guess as articulation goes, you have these claws that basically become the robot hands. And then the legs here can move. I guess these fins or wings? <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is based off of any uh, actual sea life, but Still looks pretty cool. I wonder if it's supposed to be like this. Maybe because it, it actually pegs in here or tabs in there. Still yet, yeah, very cool looking. Um, it's just a big ugly face. <laughs> now you can attach his accessories in beast mode. Guns can go here. Very tight. The fist can attach to the back by pegging into this hole. So I can attach like that. And this fin and this fin according to the instructions can just go 
go in here like so so you can carry all of his accessories in his beast mode and it's actually not too bad because mainly everything is in the back so he looks just like this and even if you look around in the back it doesn't seem to be that bulky on him even though he does have the hand so I wouldn't mind storing him in beast mode like this with all of his accessories though and for some size comparisons in his beast mode here he is next to siege sideswipe here he is next to earthrise starscream and here he is next to legends shark the con gnaw and here he is next to cyberverse gnaw okay let's transform tentacle into his robot mode first we're going to lift up his chin bring that up next we're going to bring this his face out a bit or beast face you can kind of see the legs forming here let's separate the legs flip the toes down like so there you go bring this down and bring the chest out and flip the head out and we can put the chest back in straighten out the arms bring this claw piece up like so reveal the arms or the hands and we're gonna rotate the lower part there you go and then we're going to rotate the lowest part the feet there you go so you can see the robot starting to form this piece is gonna go back like so and then the fish head is gonna tap into here like so there you have tentacle tentacle in his robot mode it's a little back heavy but i have to say he's probably the most unique out of all the seacons in terms of robot mode transformation etc okay let's take a closer look at tentacle in robot mode starting with the head I like the head sculpt on this. It reminds it looks like the Decepticon symbol, like most of the Seacons, but it's kind of interesting. I don't I, I just the design I, I, I really like. Nice paint apps on the arms, on the legs too, and toes. Very cool. I think he has a, a very good amount of paint detail on him. Now from the side he is very back heavy because all of that fish parts are on his back. So if you look at the side profile of him, he is very thin as a robot, but his backpack is very large. Still very cool looking figure. Um, the robot mode, definitely a lot more interesting to transform than most of the Seacons. One thing interesting, you notice there's a lot of uh, 5mm ports on here so he could I guess throw stuff like this here and up here there's some 5mm ports as, it's as if they've added these ports to make him more usable with Earthrise and Siege now in robot mode he can carry most of his accessories he can't carry his hand there's no really good place to put it well, at least in the instructions, but uh, his guns, this one can combine with his bladed weapon and the other weapon in here. Now, if you can tell, he is back heavy, very back heavy. In fact, his uh, joints here are, are a little loose or coming loose from that stress. So there he is with his weapons, looks pretty cool. He is very back heavy, so you can see him tipping over easily. Hey, okay, let's get on to articulation. Starting from the head, it's on a ball joint, can rotate 360. Arm is also on a ball joint. Elbow is on a ball joint as well. He can move his wrist like this, but that's probably mainly due to transformation. He can rotate at the waist, can do the splits. Legs are a bit loose. I might have to use that Tyson, Titan loose joints thing 
uh, that I reviewed a while back. He can kick this far, kick this much back. He does have um, thigh rotation a little, very little though. And he can bend at the knee. This is mainly for transformation. But I guess you can say he has this uh, double knee bend, which is kind of cool. I almost forgot he does have ankle articulation. He can move up like this. And he does have an ankle tilt, which is very slight, but it's there. And for some size comparisons in robot mode, here he is next to Earthrise Optimus Prime. Here he is to the Walmart exclusive Netflix Hound. And here he is next to Cyberverse Gnaw. Hey, my final thoughts on Generation Select Seacon Tentacle. Out of all the Seacons, I gotta say he's probably the most interesting in both robot mode and uh, beast mode. The beast mode, the giant head, it's pretty cool looking yet kind of weird. And the robot mode, the transformation is probably the most different from all the small, smaller Seacons. And uh, in fact, I, I'm not even sure what this mold was based on because most of the Seacon molds are retools or very heavy retools of um, Terracon uh, figures. So kind of interesting that way. If you guys know which one, I'd be interested to uh, learn about it in the comments. But um, overall, I'm glad I got him. Um, have to have him. Got to complete the set of Piranacon and I'm finally glad I completed uh, the Seacon team and we'll be uh, making a video of their combined mode shortly or soon, I hope. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.